Hi, this is part number four of uh, monkeys species uh, classification. This would be based on transfer and learning. Um, this is a uh, part number four of a uh, of a playlist of of lessons that uh, use uh, a classification based on convolutional neural uh, networks. This is the link for the the whole playlist. But as I said, uh, now we are going to use transfer, transfer learning in order to classify the images. We are going to use the, the VGG16 uh, model. First of all, we are going to import all the required uh, libraries. So this follow this uh, straightforward uh, process. We are going to import the, the VGG16 model from uh, Keras and some more functions, some more helping fi functions to, to activate or, or launch this uh, model. The pre-process pre import is a very important uh, function. We are going to use early stopping, similar, similar to our process, uh, our previous process. And we are going to use image augmentation, same as we have done in the previous uh, process. Let's copy some code from the previous uh, CNN model, like the image size, the number of classes, the, the patient's uh, value. Next, let's copy all the data augmentation process and the uh, place we store the, the, the name of the folder, the training folders and the test folders. This will be probably the same, we are we're not going to change it. Now let's build our model. It will be based on the VGG16. So we will call the model myVGG. We will use the VGG16 uh, function. The shape of the images would be 200 on 200. Then we will um, define the, the weights. We are going to use the, the default VGG weights, which are based on the ImageNet. And uh, the, next, uh, the next parameter is include top equals false that mean, means that we are going to remove the last layer of the vgg16 since we are going to replace it with our requirements Let's print uh, the model summary. We have an error. Okay, it's a, it's a simple syntax error. And 
another syntax error, the mod models. Okay, we have uh, the word ImageNet as an error inside it. Let's fix it. Okay, this is the model structure. And also we can have, we can see that we load 10 classes for training and test. So next we are going to change the structure of the model and adjust it to our requir requirements. Since we would like to use the, the pre-trained model, we would like to, to freeze the existing weights of all the layers inside the model. So in order to do that, we are going to run a loop and update the, the layer trainable uh, um, value to false. Okay, let's run it just to see that we don't have any error. Okay, let's continue. Now we will add two layers. One is a, a flattened layer. These two layers are it's for our needs. So let's call it a, a plus flatten layer and it will be based on flutter a function and we will send to this function the myvgg output. So this flatten layer will go in as, as the last layer for our myvgg model. Next we are going to add the, the dense layer with the, the 10 classes. So once again, let's define a variable. Let's call it predict. Let's call it last predict prediction layer. It would be a dense layer with the uh, ten classes. Let's use our variable. The activation would be softmax. Soft it's a, a common practice for a, for a, a dense layer in CNN models, and we will send it our previous uh, variable plus flatten layer. So this uh, last prediction layer will go after the flatten layer. So now let's define the final model. The it, the inputs would be the the same input of the myvgg and the output would be the last prediction layer which includes inside it the whole structure of the myvgg model now let's print it okay we have an error let's fix the, the outputs okay and now as you can see the last layer is a flattened and a dance with a 10 classes. Let's define the compile function. The lost value will be a categorical uh, entropy value, same as our CNN model. The optimizer would be Adam. And the matrix would be accuracy. Okay, you are most welcome to subscribe my channel and to get notified with the new videos. Let's copy for, from our CNN model uh, the the, the checkpoint and the, the process of early stopping. We will change the name of the of the model to transfer transfer learning monkey model, and the rest should be the same. Okay, we are now in the training process. Now let's run it just to see that we don't have any syntax error. Okay, now it's uh, the training time. 
we will use the model fit function and we will pass uh, several arguments very similar to our uh, regular CNN uh, model. We will send the training set and the validation uh, set. The number of epochs and the two more um, variable steps per epoch and validation steps we have mentioned it uh, in our previous uh, sessions and the early stopping Let's copy the, the, the PLT plot the, you know, in order to display the results on the charts. This is the, the, same, the same Python uh, commands from our uh, lesson number two. So we will uh, run and do the training. So we have 30 epochs with an early stopping process, but we are uh, using a, a pre-trained model based, based on a VGG16. So the process should be very short, several minutes. And we wait to see what, sh what is the v validation accuracy. As for now, it's very high, it's, a, it's above uh, 0 0.8. So, so basically it's a very good uh, result. So let's test our model with the same uh, Python uh, program that we, we wrote in the previous lessons. So we will copy the, the name of the saved model in the same Python program, the same test py Python program. And once again, let's run it. We can see the 30 random uh, images and let's discover the result. So we have 24 correct images out of 30. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Bye bye.